Hi everybody, I am Nofal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding the difference between TSH, T3 and T4. So TSH means thyroid stimulating hormone. TSH means thyroid stimulating hormone. In the name itself, thyroid is there but it is not secreted by thyroid gland. TSH is secreted by anterior pituitary gland. TSH is secreted by anterior pituitary gland. Thyroid stimulating hormone in the name itself. Thyroid is there but it is not secreted by thyroid gland. Keep it in mind it is secreted by anterior pituitary gland. Now the thyroid gland secrete the hormone T3 and T4. T3 and T4 is the hormone that is secreted by thyroid gland. Now regarding the function of the TSH regarding the function of the thyroid stimulating hormone is to stimulate the thyroid gland to stimulate the thyroid gland anterior pituitary gland will secrete thyroid stimulating hormone thyroid stimulating hormone will stimulate the thyroid gland TSH will stimulate the thyroid gland after stimulating the thyroid gland thyroid gland will secrete T3 and T4. TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. So it is stimulating the thyroid gland. TSH is stimulating the thyroid gland. After getting the stimulation from the TSH, thyroid gland will secrete T3 and T4. Now regarding the hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. The most confusing thing for the students is regarding the lab value of the lab value in the blood test of the hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism if it is hypothyroidism the lab value in the blood test will be tsh will be increased and t3 and t4 will be decreased t3 and t4 is decreased and tsh will be increased and we are calling it as hypothyroidism here the tsh is increased still we are calling hypothyroidism the reason is here in hypothyroidism or the hyperthyroidism problem is for the thyroid gland not to the anterior pituitary gland in the hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism problem is for the thyroid gland for example in this case hypothyroidism for example it is occurring due to the deficiency of iodine due to iodine deficiency hypothyroidism has occurred so here due to the iodine deficiency for example thyroid gland is secreting very less hormone that is thyroid gland is secreting very less t3 and t4 so in hypothyroidism for example due to the deficiency of iodine t3 and t4 secretion will be decreased but tsh is increased the reason is TSH is not secreted by the thyroid gland. Problem is with thyroid gland. So here the TSH is increased. The reason is in this case, if the T3 and T4 is decreased in hypothyroidism, anterior pituitary gland, anterior pituitary gland will think this is due to T3 and T4 is decreased. This is due to the decreased secretion or decreased stimulation of the TSH. So, what the anterior pituitary gland will do? It will increase the secretion of TSH. It will increase the secretion of TSH in hypothyroidism. So, TSH will again come and stimulate the thyroid gland. But problem is there for the thyroid gland. Again, there is no improvement in T3 and T4 because problem is there for the thyroid gland. Again, the anterior pituitary will increase the secretion of TSH. TSH will again hyper stimulate the thyroid gland, but there is no use. Problem is for the thyroid gland. T3 and T4 will be decreased only. It is not increasing. But the TSH level is increased because again and again, anterior pituitary is secreting the TSH to stimulate the thyroid gland. So, while we are checking the blood test, the lab value in hypothyroidism, the TSH level will be increased due to the excessive secretion of TSH by anterior pituitary gland. The TSH level will be increased and the T3, T4 level will be decreased in hypothyroidism. Now regarding the hyperthyroidism, just opposite to the hypothyroidism. 
thyroidism in hypothy hyperthyroidism the tsh level will be decrease and t3 t4 level will be increase here also due to any reason any problem to the thyroid gland here also hyperthyroidism problem to the thyroid gland problem to the thyroid gland so the t3 and t4 level is increase for example due to the excess amount of iodine in the blood iodine level in the blood increase amount of t3 and t4 will be there because the thyroid gland will increase the secretion excess amount of iodine is there so it will increase the secretion of the thyroid hormone thyroid gland will increase the secretion of the thyroid hormone t3 and t4 so already the t3 and t4 is increase in case of in case of hyperthyroidism so here the anterior pituitary gland will think this is due to increased level of tsh this the t3 and t4 is increased due to the increased secretion of tsh so what the anterior pituitary will do it will decrease the secretion of tsh but there is no change in t3 and t4 again the anterior pituitary will decrease the secretion of tsh but there is no change because problem is to the thyroid gland so again it will decrease the secretion during the lab test in hyperthyroidism the tsh level will be decreased and the t3 t4 level will be increased so only thing you have to do you have to check the t3 and t4 for your exam if it is decreased you have to think that is hypo and you have to check the tsh it will be opposite tsh will be increased in hypothyroidism and tsh will be decreased in hyperthyroidism but t3 and t4 will be increased t3 and t4 is increase hyperthyroidism and t3 and t4 is decrease and tsh is increase hypothyroidism now for your exam the most important thing is tsh is secreted by which gland anterior pituitary gland and sometimes for your exam they will give the lab value tsh is increased and the t3 t4 is decrease which condition hypothyroidism tsh is decreased and t3 t4 is increased which condition hyperthyroidism that's all regarding the difference between tsh t3 and t4 we will meet soon with another video till that time thank you and goodbye